Well, good morning, everybody, all four of us. We hope you're doing well this morning. I think it's, it is time. Okay. So welcome to Morning Prayer, brought to you by Church of the uh, Epiphany in Richardson, Texas, and uh, with our producer, Amanda Garcia, who faithfully watches over it. Early. So we'd like to begin our service today. Yes, um, we'd like to start uh, with a hymn, hymn 368, um, Holy Father, Great Creator, hymn 368. Holy Father, Great Creator, source of mercy, love, and peace. Look upon the Mediator, clothe us with his righteousness. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, through the Savior, hear and bless. Holy Jesus, Lord of glory, whose angelic hosts proclaim, while we hear thy wondrous story, meet and worship in thy name. Dear Redeemer, dear Redeemer, in our hearts thy peace proclaim. Holy Spirit, sanctifier, come with unction from above. Touch our hearts with sacred fire, fill them with the Savior's love. Source of comfort, source of comfort, cheer us with the Savior's love. God the Lord through every nation, let thy wondrous mercy shine in the song of thy salvation every race combined great jehovah great jehovah form our hearts and make them thine we begin our service on page 79 with the confession of sin, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So turning to 79, let us confess God and our neighbor. God, God we, we confess, confess that, that we have, have sinned against, against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we, we have, have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. On page 80, the invitatory in the Psalter. <clears throat> Lord, open our lips. And, and our, our mouth mouths. shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is in his holy temple. Come, let us adore him. 
Now let us say together the Venite found on page 82 of the Book of Common Prayer, page 82. Come, Come let, let us sing to the Lord. Let, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalm appointed for today is Psalm 34 which can be found on page 627, Psalm 34, on page 627. We'll read by whole verse, responsibly. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in the affliction and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Fear the Lord, you that are his. For those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who among you loves life? and desires long life to enjoy prosperity. Keep your tongue from evil speaking and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and will save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of them all. He will keep safe all of his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord ransoms the life of his, of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Our Old Testament lesson today comes from the book of Numbers, chapter 12. Books of, book of Numbers, chapter 12. Miriam and Aaron began to talk against Moses because of his Cushite wife, for he had married a Cushite. Has the Lord spoken only through Moses, they asked? Hasn't he also spoken through us? And the Lord heard this. Now Moses was a very humble man, more humble than anyone else on the face of the earth. At once the Lord said to Moses, Aaron and Miriam, come out to the tent of meeting, all three of you. So the three of them came out. Then the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud. He stood at the entrance to the tent and summoned Aaron and Miriam. When both of them stepped forward, he said, listen to my words. When a prophet of the Lord is among you, I reveal myself to him in visions. I speak to him in dreams. But this is not true of my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. 
With him, I speak face to face, clearly and not in riddles. He sees the form of the Lord. Why, then, were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? The anger of the Lord burned against them, and he left them. When the cloud lifted from above the tent, there stood Miriam, leprous like snow. Aaron turned toward her and saw that she had leprosy. And he said to Moses, Please, my Lord, do not hold against us the sin we have so foolishly committed. Do not let her be like a stillborn infant coming from its mother's womb with its flesh half eaten away. So Moses cried out to the Lord, O oh God, please heal her. The Lord replied to Moses, If her father had spit in her face, would she not have been in disgrace for seven days? Confine her outside the camp for seven days. After that, she can be brought back. So Miriam was outside the camp for seven days, and the people did not move on till she, had, she was brought back. After that, the people left Hazarot and encamped in the desert of Paran. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now join me in saying to Moses, Canticle number 8, 85 in the Book of Common Prayer. Page 85, Canticle number 8. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. Rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and workers of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love you led the people you redeemed. With your might you brought them in safety to your holy glory. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord. The sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever. Amen. Our epistle reading is Romans 2. Verses 12 through 34. Romans 12, I mean Romans chapter 2, verse 12. All who sin apart from the law will also perish apart from the law, and all who sin under the law will be judged by the law. For it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight, but it is those who obey the law who will be declared righteous. Indeed, when Gentiles who do not have the law do by nature things required by the law, they are a law for themselves, even though they do not have the law, since they show that the requirements of the law are written on their hearts, their consciences also bearing witness, and their thoughts now accusing now even defending them. This will take place on the day when God will judge men's secrets through Jesus Christ, as my gospel declares. Now you, if you call yourself a Jew, if you rely on the law and brag, law and brag about your relationship to God, if you know his will and approve of what is superior because you are instructed by the law, if you are convinced that you are a guide for the blind, a light for those who are in the dark, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of infants, because you have in the law the embodiment of knowledge and truth, 
You then, who teach others, do you not teach yourself? You who preach against stealing, do you steal? You that say that people should not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? You who abhor idols, do you rob temples? You who brag about the law, do you dishonor God by breaking the law? As it is written, God's name is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. Circumcision has value if you observe the law. But if you break the law, you have become as though you had not been circumcised. If those who are not circumcised keep the law's requirements, will they not be regarded as though, though they were circumcised? The one who is not circumcised physically and yet obeys the law will condemn you, who even though you have the written code and circumcision are a lawbreaker. A man is not a Jew if he is only one outwardly. Nor is circumcision merely outward and physical. No. A man is a Jew if he is one inwardly. And circumcision is circumcision of the heart by the spirit, not by the written code. Such a man's praise is not from men, but from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let's... Let us say together Canticle 19, found on page 94 of the Book of Common Prayer. Canticle 19, page 94, the Song of the Redeemed. O universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail? And sing the praises of your name, for you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and will be forever. Amen. Our Gospel reading is Matthew 18, verses 10 through 20. Matthew 18 verses 10 through 20. See that you do not look down on one of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, Will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, I tell you the truth. He is happier about that one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing any of these little ones should be lost. If your brother sins against you, go and show him his fault just between the two of you. If he listens to you, you have won your brother over. But if he will not listen, take one or two others along, so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, treat him as you would a pagan or a tax collector. I tell you the truth, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything you ask for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three come together in my name, there I am with them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we will say together the Apostles' Creed, found on page 96 in the Book of Common Prayer. Page 96, the Apostles' Creed is said at our marriage, at our dying. It is like when we say this, proclaim this, we are saying like the old hymn, nothing in my hands I bring simply to thy cross I cling. So let us say together the Apostles' Creed, found on page 96. 
I believe in God, the, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now suffrages A, on page 97. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now we begin with our collects that we pray every morning, and we want to encourage you to send your prayer requests in. Uh, we will pray for all each one of those that we see. If we miss any, uh, they are sent out to a whole group of prayers in the church and will be prayed for on your behalf. So please do that. So let us continue. O oh Lord, make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name, for you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers for you, for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Father, we come to you today as your people. We acknowledge you as our Lord and Savior, our King. We acknowledge you as the Lord of all the universe, creator of everything, sovereign Lord. We are your people, the sheep of your pasture. We come in total dependence upon you. And we are blessed to be able to be dependent on such a great God. Lord, we know that you love this world. And we know that you call us to love it as well. And so we lift up our world to you. A world that is many who are wandering like the lost sheep. Lord, we know that you want all those sheep to be found. We lift up those who are suffering in their bodies, suffering the effects of the virus, suffering the effects of um, lack of food, medicines, health care, those who uh, have lost their businesses and livelihoods, those who are lonely and isolated and depressed those who are having problems in their homes with families. 
Lord, we, we just lift them all up to you. And we know, Jesus, that you are the Prince of Peace. And so we pray that, um, we pray that um, you would bring peace to our world. Jesus, we declare your peace coming among us in our cities, in our communities, in our families. Prince of Peace, come. Come and reign in our hearts. Reign in, in your people, in Christians everywhere. Empower us, Holy Spirit, to be your hands and feet in the world. To notice who live around. To notice our own family members who may be struggling, isolated and alone. To notice our neighbors. To walk, to prayer walk our neighborhoods. And, and be willing to meet our neighbors and reach out to them in whatever way we can. Lord, to volunteer in our communities, to be part of the solution. Lord, we do pray for the unrest. Lord, we pray for um, those who are struggling to keep law and order. We pray for the hearts of people who are hurting because of their losses. Lord, we pray for spiritual awakening. We pray for spiritual renewal. We pray for transformed hearts. And Lord, we do repent. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to come and search us and know us. Show us those things that displease you. And help us to, to confess our sin, turn and change and be transformed by the power of your Holy Spirit, that power, that same power that raised Jesus from the dead, that we may be raised up, new creations, new creatures in Christ, crucified to our own desires, crucified with Christ, living as unto him. Help us to be like you, Jesus, today in all that we do. We ask your blessing on our pastors, particularly Mother Bessie, and we pray for wisdom for all of our leaders, that we will burn with the power of your Holy Spirit in love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now let us pray together the general thanksgiving. You'll find it on page 101 in the prayer book. Page 101.